Hi there, so in this little tutorial I'm going to hope to uh, kind of take you through a few different aspects of fractions just as a wee refresh for some of you who are but unsure uh, in the revision classes for the test today, alright? So, what we're going to do in this slide is we're going to look at top heavy fractions okay, so this is a top heavy fraction and how we convert them into mixed numbers, okay? And we call it a mixed number because we've got a number there and a fraction beside it, so mixed numbers top heavy fractions because the number at the top is bigger than the number at the bottom, okay? So how do we go from this form and to that form? Well, all we do to convert from top heavy fractions into mixed numbers is we just have to remember that that line means divide. So really all we're doing is we are doing 12 divided by 5. And the answer to that, if you were at primary school, would be 2 remainder 2, because 12 goes into 5 2 times with 2 left over. And that makes sense to everybody really well. So all we would have to do is we do 12 divided by 5, and we get 2, and we put a remainder in the top, because we've got 2 fifths left. And if we want to think about it really mathematically, if we do 12 divided by 5, then we have 2 wholes and we still have 2 fifths left over. Okay, So we can use our old knowledge from primary to help us to, or our original knowledge from primary, to help us to do this sum and to convert from top heavy fractions into our mixed numbers. Okay, So again, all we do is we do 12 divided by 5, that gives us 2 remainder 2, so it's 2 and 2 fifths, and that'll work the same way with any set of numbers, alright? So, how do we go, then, from um, mixed numbers into top-heavy fractions? So, in other words, how do we go this way? Well, all we would do in that case is, we would try and think to ourselves, how many fifths is in two holes, okay? And the quickest way to do that is just to multiply the 2 and the 5. So if we do 2 times 5, we get 10. So that's 10 fifths is going to make 2 holes. And we've got 2 fifths left over as well. So we've got 2 holes and 2 fifths. So if 2 holes is 10 fifths, and we're going to add on our other 2 fifths, then we're going to obviously be left with 12 fifths, okay? So all we need to do is we do 2 times a 5 to figure out how many fifths are in 2 holes, and then we look and see how many extra fifths we have, and that's 2, so we do 10 plus or 2, giving us 12, and we always need to remember to keep the denominator, the bottom number here, the same, so we get 12 fifths, okay? So that is converting mixed numbers and top heavy fractions, okay? So we're going to look at multiply, no, we're not, we're going to look at addition and subtraction using the smile and the kiss method, alright? So the method we use for addition and subtraction only is this method here, and the reason why we use it is because the denominators, that's the numbers in the bottom, have to be the same. We can't subtract sevenths and ninths because they're different, okay? Just like we can't subtract x's and y's in algebra or a's and b's in algebra, we can't subtract sevenths and ninths in fractions, and we can't add them either. So the techniques that we're using for subtraction just now in this slide would be the same as if that was an addition sum. All right? Go away. Addition. Hold on. That's it. Go on. Okay. So... The smile and the kiss method. So how do we get our common denominator? Well, all we need to do is we multiply the bottom numbers together. So 7 times 9 gives us 63. And then to do our kiss, this is our kiss, and all we do is we multiply along the lines. So it's going to be 6 times 9, sorry, 9 times 6, I should say, um, gives me... 54 this side 
And we try to do it in this direction, so we go 9 times 6 and 7 times 5 to give us the 35. And because it's subtraction, we subtract here. Okay? So all we need to do then is we do 54 take away 35, which gives us 19 and 63 on the bottom. And that's the answer for that one. Okay? So first step is remember find our common denominator by our smile, which gives us 63. And then we find our numerators, our numbers on the top, by doing 9 times 6 and 7 times 5 to give us 54 and 35 over 63. Then you just do the sum to get 19, and that's us done. Okay? So again, you can rewind if you're not sure, but I'm going to move on to the next slide. Okay? So in this slide we're going to look at division, but this time the division is with mixed numbers, so there's a little bit of conversion required first. So if you go back to slide 1, that will show you how to convert from mixed numbers into top-heavy fractions, and that's what we're going to do just now. So if we've got 3 and 3 fifths, then we do 3 times 5, which gives us 15, and then we add on the 3, which that's going to give us 18 fifths. Okay, so 3 and 3 fifths is the same as 18 fifths, and we're still dividing, and we have 2 and a half, and that's 2 times 2, add the 1, that's going to give us 5 over 2, like so. Now, when we divide fractions, there's a special technique that we use, and that technique is that we flip this second fraction around. So, this line is going to become 18 fifths, and this fraction is going to become 2 fifths. But instead of dividing this time, we multiply these together. Because we've flipped this fraction over, we can now multiply these together. Okay? So, when we multiply in fractions, all we do is we just multiply straight across. We don't have to do any common denominator work, any smile and kiss at all for multiplication. We just multiply straight across. So it's nice and simple. 18 times 2 gives us 36. And 5 times 5 gives us 25. And I think we'll just leave it like that for just now. You could change that into a mixed number if you wanted. But I think I'm just going to leave that there just now. At 36 over 25. Okay? So, um, again guys, just rewind if you're not sure. And work your way back through the slides uh, to get to the point that that you feel you need it the best. Okay, thank you very much for listening.